fixed intervals. Um, the only thing that pops into my head when we think of fixed intervals, or when I think of fixed intervals, is um, a poorly drawn set of waves at the beach, right? So when you get the beach, it's an old cartoon. Behavior analyst sitting there, and you got a really bad line drawing of waves, and you know, it kind of goes up and down, and, it's a bit, and the, in the guy's head pops, or the, the cartoon character's head pops this image of a, you know, a fixed interval scallop on a you know, cumulative recorder. It's this behavior analyst at the beach. It wasn't funny then, and it's not funny now, I'm well aware, but um, hopefully you got the idea that uh, a fixed interval produces a cumulative record that looks like a scallop, right? Boom, 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 like that. Why? Well, um, because the definition of a fixed interval is simple. It is the first response after a given amount of time right, will be reinforced. So if, if you have an FR 10 minute, so the first response, whatever that may be, after 10 minutes, will receive a reinforcer, right? Um, a good example that's been overused, and I'll continue to overuse it, uh, because life is so full of really simple, complex behavior issues, right? <sighs> Schedules of reinforcement, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, um, so life is so full of these things that it gets hard to separate them out. So I think my favorite example is waiting for the bus, right? So the bus is supposed to be there at a fixed time, right? So you start looking for that bus right before it gets there, and but the only the only response that's actually reinforced is the one that when you look up after the bus arrives that we can actually step on the bus rather than getting run over which is not a generalized condition punisher. <laughs> so anyway, um, so you look at, so the first response after a given amount of time is reinforced.